Hi, welcome to the 3CX training video for the Yealing T42S. In this uh, video, we're going to discuss the basic um, use of the Yealing T46 phone model, how to place a call, how to end a call, how to receive a call, and also how to check your voicemail along with a few other items such as, you know, the, the different um, features and handset of the phone. To start with, let's talk about a few things. First, the buttons, there are multiple buttons on this phone. To start with, you can see these first two buttons. These are called the line buttons. Line button are like line one or line two is basically what we programmed it to. In the third button, you can also program this. In, in this situation, we have it SP0. That's the park button. So when we get a call, we can put a, a call on a park line and anybody else in your organization can pick it up. And on the right-hand side, we have these uh, programmable buttons. And in this situation, we have set it up to provide speed dial uh, for these users in the organization. The following key, and then next we have these keys here. These are called your soft keys. Your soft keys are currently set up, for example, we have the call history of the people who are calling to you, uh, the receive call, the outgoing uh, call. And next, if you click back, we have the 3CX uh, phone book that gives you the company's phone directory to all the uh, staff that are on your uh, phone book in, in, in the entire company or you can also add third-party contacts into the phone books. And then the next button is the DID is do not disturb button and then the menu uh, item is the last one. If you press menu, you have all the different, you know, menu of the phone. Here on this is called our, um, you know, dial pad. You can use this to press the number key to dial. And then you have the, these button here, I'll call your navigational buttons. You can move, you know, when you, in the middle, you can move stuff right, left or right. Next, we have this here, which is your um, mute button. And then you have the handset button. Uh, if you want to use the um, headset, for example, you can press this and allow you to talk through your headset. The next button is your voicemail button. So you can press this, then it'll call your voicemail. Please enter personal identification number. That this is your call history button. It shows your inbound call and outbound call. This is your speakerphone. So here is your, um, if you want to use the speakerphone, you just press this button and you can use the, the handset speakerphone. And on the bottom here is the volume button. You can increase or decrease the volume of the phone. Here is your mute button. So if you uh, actually, sorry, this is your <laughs> hung up button. If you want to end a call, you can press this or end the call. So the next thing is we want to talk about how to place a call. Now there are several ways you can um, make a phone call. You can pick up the handset and you can start dialing. and then press send. Once you finish the call, you can press the in, the in, um, in call or simply hang up by putting the handset onto the phone. If you want to use let's say if you want to use the headset 
you press the headset button and then you press the number and dial and then put on your headset and you can talk through the headset the next item is we're gonna answer a call so you receive an incoming call and if you want to answer you can just pick up the handset or you can press the speakerphone to start talking or if you want to talk to your uh, headset you press the headset button and you can just uh, start talking as well so it's pretty straightforward once you pick up the call you, you can just start talking okay next let's say we want to put a call on hold so I'm gonna receive a call again so now I pick up the handset and if I want to put it on hold I press the hold button so once I put it on hold, the other person on the receiving, uh, on the calling in will hear on hold music. So they will know that they're being placed on hold. To resume the call or you want to continue the conversation, you just press resume. Now, if you want to transfer the call to someone else, you can press the transfer button dial the other person's extension and you can do send and then hang up to complete the transfer if you want the next thing is let's say you want to do a three-way calling so there's two things you to start with, you can call the first person press send to call the other party okay so now I have the other person on the line I'm gonna put this call on um, to start the conference, I'm going to press conference. Now I'm going to start dialing a different number. Thank you for calling eSudo Technology Solutions. Our normal business hours are from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. For now once I want a, a person support, picks up, press one I press or conference. Support at e for sales, please press Then two. now you're both you in a three-way call. You can also visit us at our website, esudo.com, for more information. For our company direct... So during the time when you are placing the call with the third party, the first party is going to be on hold music. And then once you press, once the second party picks up, you press conference, all of you will be connected in a three-way calling. Here earlier we talked about the company um, phone book. So you press the phone book. You can press enter or you now I see all the names. I can scroll through and I can press send to call that person. This the other button that I want to go over is the call history. If you press call history, you can see this was the last person that we called. And you can see all the different names on there, the time that was called. So that concludes our quick tutorial on how to use the Yealink T42S.
If you have any questions or need more information, contact our office at support at isudo.com.